Okay, I want to do example number five from the 2.5 um, note sheet, okay? And in that problem, you are told that you want to factor this function, this polynomial function, in a, and write it as a product of linear factors, okay? So what we'll do first is we're just going to follow the same sets that we would follow if we we're trying to find the uh, all the real zeros or all the complex zeros exactly. We're going to start off by graphing, finding the easy zeros or the integer rational zeros. Um, and then we're going to divide those out, and then we'll go from there. Hopefully we can get down to a quadratic, and then use the quadratic formula or just algebraic techniques at that point. Okay. So this one, when you graph it, you end up finding that x equals negative 5 and x equals 3 are, are easy zeros, are integer zeros. Okay. So we'll start off by dividing those numbers out, or those factors out. Okay. So we'll put negative 5 in a little box and do some synthetic division here. So 1. 2, 1, 32, negative 240. Okay, and so what you should do first at this point actually is pause the video, go try and do this, and see if you get um, can get down to the answer, then play the video and see if you uh, if, if my answer matches with yours. Okay, so let's do the synthetic division here. So bring down the 1, negative 5, add them up, that's negative 3, multiply, that's 15, add them up, that's 16, multiply here, so that's um, what, 50 plus 30, so 80, so negative 80, okay, and that's uh, negative 48, multiply these out, and you get positive 240, add them up, you get zero, you should get a remainder of zero at this point, if you didn't, you did something wrong, because a zero, when you do the synthetic division, should result in a remainder of zero, okay, now we're going to take and do three next, so we'll write three in the little box, and we'll do some synthetic division again. So bring down the 1. 3 times 3 is 3. Add them up. That's 0. 3 times 0 is 0. Add them up. That's 16. 3 times 16 is 48. Add them up. That's 0. Okay? So I started off with a fourth degree polynomial. In fact, let's just let's write down what we know at this point. So at this point, we know this. f of x is equal to x plus 5. It's equal to x minus 3. And then at this point, this is a quadratic, because we started off at a fourth power, we did division once, did division again, we did a second power, so the other factor is x squared plus 16. Now, the instructions say to write as a product of linear factors. This, while it would be our last factor, we could write it in here, is not linear, it's quadratic. Okay, so we need to figure out what, how to write this as two linear factors. And the way that we're gonna do that is, We'll set it equal to zero and figure out um, what that, uh, what x values make that zero. So let's draw some lines here, I guess. Okay, so we'll go x squared um, plus 16 is equal to zero. Subtract 16 over. I get x squared equals negative 16. Square root, square root. It's square rooting the variable, so you need plus or minus. So we end up with this. x equals plus or minus the square root of negative 16. That's going to be 4i. Square root of a negative number gives me the i, and then square root of 16 is 4, so plus or minus 4i. Okay, so all my zeros, if I was to list them out, we'd have x equals negative 5, x equals 3, x equals negative 4i, and x equals positive 4i. There's all my zeros. To write this as a product of linear factors then, I'm going to take these other two zeros and write them as linear factors. So I get x plus 4i, and I get x minus 4i. And there I've written this polynomial as a product of linear factors. Again, just following the steps that we talked about for um, finding zeros. Graph it first, divide out the easy or uh, integer rational zeros, and then hopefully you can get down to a quadratic where you can use the quadratic formula or just basic algebra techniques to solve.